Hi. This past weekend, I spent some time visiting Fort Worth, Texas, where the West began. And part of my travels took me to the famous stockyards. And there's a great museum there. While touring it, I came across this photograph. These are the original brands from the cattle that used to come through in Fort Worth, Texas. And it reminded me that's what brands and branding is all about. Think about it. These ranchers were so committed to that brand, to that quality of the steer they were bringing to market, they were willing to burn it into the flesh of an animal. That may turn a lot of people off, and I'm not saying that I want you to go out and get brands put into you, but think of that commitment. Think of that level of commitment to the brand, what it stood for. When that steer came to market and somebody saw whose brand it was, it wasn't just that they owned the steer. They were selling the steer, and it brought a promise with it. So what's your brand promise? What does your brand and your mark stand for? Are you willing to defend it to the point as if it were burned into your skin? And what are you doing to get that kind of engagement from your franchisees? Do they understand that the brand is what brings the customers in? And it's not just the mark. I mean, we all understand what golden arches are, but I'm talking about the brand experience, that when they walk in the door, they know how they'll be greeted, how the service will be delivered, what the product will do, how the food will taste. This is important to bring forward. Think about this list of marks, these brands that are over 100 years old. Where will your brand be in 100 years? And what are you going to do to keep it? in top of mind awareness. So I challenge all of you, we go back to the beginnings, remember what branding was, and give that level of commitment to your system, your franchisees, your customers. Make it a brand that burns into their mind.